So today is my birthday. And <laughs> it's funny because uh, I was about to say, so I'm going to do something that I normally wouldn't do, which is a lie. <laughs> it's my birthday and I'm going to do what I normally fucking do, which is cause a scene. Um, and some of you are going to say, hey, hey, she's going a little too far because what I have to say, some of you would think I'm heartless. I don't give a fuck because you think I'm heart. Many of you think I'm heartless anyway. But um, on this day, I've been truly uh, the last several days trying to celebrate um, hashtag cause the scene podcast, um, the launch of the anti-racist economist um, later today, the birthday party later today. I was really just trying to be in the mood of celebration, but it's been hard. It has been absolutely a challenge to navigate my celebratory feelings of, you know, all the things that I've accomplished and yet that's happening while I'm trying to celebrate my life that's happening in the midst of utter chaos in this country. But that's not new. That's not fucking new. Um, and I, I really just wanted to talk about some things that I'm seeing. Um, I just need to unpack it. You know me, I'm an external processor. So this is the part that you're going to say I'm heartless. And it's because I don't give a fuck about white protesters being arrested. I don't give a fuck. I really just don't give a fuck. Um, and it's not that I want them to be harmed or anything else. I've actually given money to um, the bailout campaigns that people, you know, I've matched. So my, my thing with all of this is I need white folks to understand when you go to a protest about Black Lives Mattering, what that entails. It's not Coachella. It's not um, South by Southwest. It's some real shit out here. And then what you come with, so you should plan for the real shit, okay? Because black people, when we protest, we have to plan for the inevitable. Maybe we get arrested. Maybe we just don't fucking come home. This is something new to you. So I just really don't have the space or the desire to, um, to center whiteness in this. Because this is what this is. I don't want to hear you saying, oh, this is not, I mean... Uh, uh, my friends got caught up and thank you. And, 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 um, and in this, and they got arrested for just chanting and that I don't want to hear this shit. This is what black people expect. Every time we decide to take a stand for our lives, we know that these are possibilities. So what I need you to do to, when your white friends or whatever, um, get caught up in, um, uh, whatever as, because what they should be doing is getting arrested for black people. This is what, I, and so I need them to have this plan in action before they go out there. Who do you call if something happens to me? Thank you. Who do, um, where do I go? Call the police. I mean, call my attorney. All, all that shit needs to be planned out when you go to a black live, when you're, when you're protesting for racial issues, white folks. And I don't want to hear about how traumatic it is for you. Fuck you. Get Go through the process, get your ass out, and shit the fuck up. And get back out there. And get back out there. Get arrested and get back out there. Because that's what we've been doing for years, for decades, for centuries. So I don't have the space. Because what it does is now, again, taking black trauma and white people are prioritizing themselves in black trauma. And that's what the fuck you always do. So I don't give a fuck about you getting arrested. So fucking what? And then I see videos of white white people, um, young white people, and particularly white males, who are actually causing the, uh, who are starting the rioting, who breaking the glasses, who setting cars on fire and shit. And this is, and again, this is where I'm gonna get political. Um, and this is not an endorsement for anybody, but it's definitely why I was not please was not happy with Bernie Sanders at all at any time because what Bernie Sanders did with his campaign was to give young white angry chaotic motherfuckers justification for their pain without giving them the whole story of, of that we're not having the same lived experience so I don't see I didn't see how his supporters the Bernie bros behaved any differently than Trump's supporters because he gave them these racist son of bitches a justification for being angry and tearing up shit. I don't see this as any different as these fucking incels. 
these again it's a group of people who can't get fucked and so they're pissed at women and so then they get together and they blame women so this is what the problem is it's like when white folks get angry when you know you feel um uh tread upon when you feel that your rights or god forbid no one wants to fuck you um y'all get together and y'all get angry and y'all just don't understand anything about community so you just fucking cause chaos fucking chaos and who gets harmed in chaos the most fucking vulnerable not the people causing the fucking chaos because they're usually white mediocre chaotic angry ass boys and men nothing happens to them the system is designed for them so what happens the people who are most vulnerable get harmed so i don't want to see no white boys at no damn rallies protesters whatever doing anything but protecting black bodies if you can't fucking do that get your punk ass back to the suburbs you bitches because all you're doing is causing harm and you will get back in your little cars and drive back to your suburbs just like i saw saw the one about detroit this is what my issue with is with people white folks from detroit because when they say they're from Detroit, i immediately ask them what suburb what suburb are you for because many of them are not from the uh, from Detroit, and if they are, they're in the gentrified fucking part of Detroit. So when I saw that um, most of the protesters in Detroit were white, wasn't fucking surprised. You white people love to manufacture fucking oppression. You love to be fucking allies. Fuck an ally. I don't need an ally. Y'all are bitch asses. Y'all always prioritize uh, whiteness. So I need. This is what the fuck I need y'all to do. If you're gonna protest. A racial, if white people, white people are gonna protest any racial, any racial, be it um, um, Asians, be it Native Americans, be it um, blacks, be it Latinx, whatever. If you're gonna be in solidarity with these groups and, and at these protests, you need to be one, prepared to be arrested. Get your shit together. Get your plan together before you even get to put your Birkenstocks on. Two, uh, make sure the signs that you're fucking holding ain't racist as shit. Three, put yourself between the black folks or whoever is being um, the, the protest is for and police and other white or supremacist bullshit you should be shielding them with your bodies if you can't fucking do that what the fuck are you there for we don't need you because we can do a march on our own we've been doing it we've been doing it so uh, this is goes back to what i used to say back in the beginning if you can't if white folks can't make themselves uncomfortable so that i can be comfortable and safe i have fucking no use for your ass no fucking use for you you're fucking worthless if you can't make yourself uncomfortable so that I can be safe, fuck you. You're no ally, you're no ally, nothing. You're just a piece of shit just soaking up oxygen as whiteness often does. And you're going to center yourself and cause harm to the most vulnerable. So I don't know how any of you are going to take any of this shit, but it's my fucking birthday. So I can say what the, well, I say what I fucking want on a regular basis. But you know what? Because it's my birthday, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that as I can say what the fuck I want to. So... Have a wonderful day. And for those who are joining us um, at the party at three o'clock, know that we will be discussing the, there'll be um, the first hour at three o'clock is, you know, hang out for a minute. And then at four o'clock, thank you so much. At four o'clock, we are having a panel um, discussing how can we even get to an anti-racist economic system. So, um, you know, I can't leave, just have y'all ignorant ass party. You know, y'all gonna learn if you're gonna waste them sit, sit in my face online. So, um, the, um, the link is on, no, I took it off my, my, fuck it, search it search for it, um, for the birthday party, um, the, the link, and I'll probably just drop it right up under here. So you'll know where it is. If you want to come to the birthday party, it is. Thank you so much. It is, um, 3 PM Eastern standard time. Um, and it will be facilitated on a new platform, uh, created by Tito, which is Vito. So we're going to try out this new, um, platform where they're building community first, which I really love about that. And I want to see how, where they go with this. So again, fuck you white folks. If you can't, um, take the heat of a, ba of a, of a fuck. This is, you claim you want a revolution. You're some, 
What kind of fucking revolution you think? Oh, I know what revolution you want. You want the revolution that keeps the fucking status quo for you. That's what you want. You want to be able to cause chaos, be angry, tear shit up. Oh, thank you from India. Tear shit up, do what the fuck you want to, and not be held accountable. But fuck that. Those days are over. So again, let me end with this. If you, a white person, are going to a black whatever rally, protest, today, this weekend, whatever, in the fucking future, make it your job to, one, get your shit affairs in order before you go because you might be arrested. Two, make sure you ain't saying and doing and carrying shit that's racist as fuck. And three, plan to put your, your physical self between the black people, whoever are, are the protesters, and um, the, the uh, whatever authority or threatening figure they're out there. It is not your fucking protest. You are there to protect the protesters. You are there to amplify their voices. You need to sit your fucking ass down, shut the fuck up. Because again, as I said, I, I, let me, I keep going off. But if you are not black and you're speaking right now, you better have something really fucking special to say because I don't want to hear from black, white folks right now. I just don't. There's nothing you can fucking say that I give a fuck about right now. So shut the fuck up, get in line, protect those who are most vulnerable, do your fucking job. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see some of you later on this afternoon.